Video 4, Views and Orientation Using the Mouse. When first using a 3D CAD program, the experience can feel very limiting if you don't know how to manipulate, move, and rotate the views in your workspace. So let's go over the basics. Knowing them can make a world of a difference. We make selections with the left mouse button and clear them either by one, clicking on what's selected, two, clicking on white space, or three, pressing the spacebar button. So all these three will clear your selections. To rotate the view, click and hold and drag the right mouse button. You can click on the part or on white space. Generally, the center of rotation will be wherever you clicked. So if I right click and drag the center hole, the view will rotate centered around the hole. If I right click and drag the tip of this pin, the view will rotate around that. To zoom in and out, use the mouse wheel. By pushing the wheel away from you, or think of it as pushing the object away, you zoom out or away from the object. Also note that it is zooming away from the cursor location. By pulling the wheel in, or think of it as reeling a rope in, the object gets closer. Also note that it is zooming toward the cursor location. So if I want to zoom in to the beginning of this small slot, I move my cursor over it and rotate the mouse wheel towards me to zoom to that location. Now talking about it is not as simple as just trying it and getting a feel for it, so I encourage you to do that. To zoom to fit, meaning to zoom to such a level that the object fits exactly into your browser window, press the F button, F for fit. To pan the view, you have two options. One, click and drag the mouse wheel. Distinction here, don't rotate the wheel, but actually click and hold it. Second, you can also pan by pressing the control key and clicking the right mouse button. Recall that we've gone over how to reset the view to isometric using the mouse. There have been several ways that we've done this. One, right clicking on white space and selecting isometric. Two, left clicking on the small cube icon and selecting isometric. And three, clicking different corners of this cube here will result in similar isometric views, although not exactly the same as isometric. Shift plus the numbers one through seven are shortcuts to predefined views as well. I'll cycle through them for you. Shift one is front. Shift two is back. Shift three is left side. Shift four is right side. Shift five is top. Shift six is bottom and shift seven is back to isometric.